Hi there, this is Jacob, jacoblevideoproduction.com, and I'm going to show you how to connect your associated website with your YouTube channel. It's fairly straightforward. I'm gonna show you what I think is the easiest way. There's a number of ways to set that up. I'll show you where I'm gonna be working. I'm just gonna to go to Creator Studio and to Channel. And then under the Advanced, if you scroll down a bit, you have the option to punch in your website and you wanna make sure it's spelled correctly. And for mine, I actually, mine is HTTPS, so that's what I would use, but I'll show you if it's, what it'll tell you if you don't have it connected. To associate with the site, you have to verify it first. So there's a number of things that you can do. And the recommended method is through Google Tag Manager, which if you have that all set up, that works really well. However, if you have to go through the process, it kind of takes a while setting that up. And I found one of the easiest ways to set it up is to use an HTML file upload. So you're gonna verify that I'm not a robot. And what I'm gonna do, just click on this, and it's going to download that exact file. And then you'll go to your cPanel. I already have mine pulled up. And you'll want to go to File Manager. And I know this all looks kind of scary, but it's really at an easy place. I've actually already added mine, but like what I did, just clicked in here, and then I uploaded and selected the download from here. I can open it up there so you can see it's right there. And you can simply drag and drop it. And once you do, I've already done this, but you just drag it over and it goes into that public HTML file. And then, that's all I had to do. And as soon as I did that, the exact moment, if you look at the HTTPS, which is my official URL, it should say success. So let me know if you run into any questions with this. It should be fairly straightforward if you're familiar with accessing cPanel. Just go into File Manager, it's one of the first things, and put that file, just click on it. I'll show one more time, public HTML. I just clicked on the index.php and then clicked upload and chose the file that they gave me and right away it connected it. So if you don't have Google Tag Manager set up, this is the easiest way. In my opinion, that's how you set it up officially. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want more tips and advice on growing your small business or growing your online presence, please subscribe and click the bell to be notified when I come out with brand new content. Anyway, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.